Hey, Shape, man, if you're watching this, um, hit me up, man. Send me an email or something. I keep, I be hitting you up, but I know you probably get so many messages and notifications that you can't even keep up with it because I get so many, and I ain't nowhere near as big as you, man. But I do want to collab with you, man. So uh, uh, hit me up, man, Hood Horror, and, you know, h -O -O -D, you know, Hood Horror Creepy. Pasta, man. C R E E P Y Pasta. P A S T A at Gmail. Hit me up. Or if on IG at Hood Horror. Or Twitter at Hood underscore Horror. Or Facebook.com slash Hood Horror. And uh, yeah, we can get a collab going, man. I think I got a couple of ideas or something, man. All right, my bro. And y'all can hit me up too, man. Not just for collab, but you know, y'all just be wanting to talk. Shoot, I talk, you know. <laughs> That's big enough. You know, I was thinking about a lot of stories I've done and the theme that runs in a lot of stories I've done is uh, I just started a new job or I've been working this job. Or it's all, but usually it's I started a new job. And I was wondering why. And the reason is because <laughs> your brother uh, get his butt kicked on his job or job, so. I work a few jobs, and um, all of them are blue collar. You know, ain't no computer, desk, office, cubicle. You know, I don't work them kind of jobs. I work, uh, I work sweat of my brow jobs. You know, I work jobs where uh, ain't no working from home. <laughs> you know, and uh, you can't transport this and that from the crib. You got to get up. And transport that mug yourself. And uh, that's the kind of, you know, uh, work that I do. And uh, it's tiring, man. You know, it's tiring. So, uh, you know, that's why, that's why I think I do a lot of stories about jobs and stuff. Because, uh, you know, because that's where I'm at. So, anyway. I just want to know before I tell y'all this st next story coming up. It's not going to be about new jobs. Matter of fact, I don't know what it's going to be because I'm just making it up as I go. So, I don't know. I guess once I get the flow and I figure out what the story is going to be about. But um, um, anybody who hiring, y'all let me know, man. You know, somebody got a J-O-B, you know, down here in, in, uh, in um, Atlanta or whatever, man. But, you know, if y'all got some work out there, somebody let me know something, man. And, Especially if somebody working in real estate or something, you know. Go ahead and get me in there and teach me how to flip that stuff. You know I'm a good salesman. You know, I know how to run my mouth now. I can persuade somebody to do anything. So I can make a fish buy some water from me. <laughs> All right, here go the story. I don't know what it's called. don't know what it's going to be about. But here it comes. Man, I can't believe this guy won't pick the phone up, man. Every... <laughs> Every time I call, it just never pick up. But every time he called me, I pick the phone up, though. You know, man, that's, I'm going to stop messing with this, man, man. Every time, the same thing, same thing, every time. Never fails, man. Just don't make no sense. People, every time you look at somebody, they got their phone in their hand. But uh, they checking it, checking their Facebook. You know, you can't even watch a movie or watch a dang basketball game because the, the folk in their phone all day. <laughs> but soon as you know, you text them, cool. Facebook, cool. You know, DM them on IG, cool. But as soon as you, uh, as soon as you call them, they just, all of a sudden, they ain't got, the, they ain't nowhere near the phone. Man, that just be ticking me off. Anyway, why is you sitting here ranting to yourself, man? See, this your problem. You just can't never shut your mind off. Instead of just trying to figure this thing out, you sitting here going off to yourself about nothing, man. Forget him. There's other ways. You call the dang lady. She'll tell you what to do. Okay, what's her number? Oh, man, I didn't save her number. Why won't I take the time? You know, that, that's crazy. It take like less than 30 seconds. It take 15 seconds at the, you know, at the most. Probably you can do it in less if you, you know, it take a few seconds to put somebody's name in the phone. 
so stupid. I'm just sitting here with all these numbers. I don't know who they is. Man, which number was hers? Okay, let me see that right there. Okay, okay, I remember this one. That was that bill collector that always called me right after, you know, it seemed like they called me as soon as I go um, on dang on, on lunch every day. Okay, so, all right, that's them. When was that we talked? Was it after? Okay, it was during lunch. So this must be her number right here. Okay, let me call her. Hello? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this, yeah. You remember, okay. Oh, you, you had my number saved. Yeah, I got yours saved too. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. Well, look, um, you know, I, I, I know you're busy and stuff, but I just wanted to call because um, I'm trying to get down into the, into the, um, the, the, what's it called, the dang basement to uh, get that stuff out of there y'all told me about. Yeah, I keep calling and he would not pick up. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. I, <laughs> you know, he stay on the phone, but it seems like every time I call, he, uh, he just never picked the phone up. I don't know. Okay, you gonna come, you gonna come let me in? Okay, okay. Alright, well, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is getting dark. Mm hmm. Okay, well, look, I'm gonna be um, back here. I already got the truck pulled back to the loading dock. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, I'll see you in a few minutes then. Okay, well. Oh, man. Man, she come. Okay. See, I'm glad he didn't pick up the phone. I'd rather have her come anyway. Her fan self. And she got money, too. That girl drive for Ben. Sue. I don't know. Sue. I, I, I wonder what she really give me a chance. She be smiling and stuff at me, but uh, if she find out I drive, uh, <laughs> if she find out I drive a 19, you know, my car got 19 in front of her. She find out I got 19 in front of my car. Uh, she probably ain't gonna, you know. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how I'm gonna have to work that out, man. I'm gonna end up lying to her, telling her my car in the shop or something, and messing it up before it even. Mess the whole game up before it even gets started, man. So, but anyway, I'm gonna try. I'm so sure gonna try when she get here. Mm -hmm. and she a big old girl too. You know, I like them big girls, man. Well, that Benz, man. That Benz. She need a big body Benz to hold her up, man. <laughs> oh man. That girl wild is all outside, but then, you know, hey, she look good, though, I right tell you. Okay, man, why is you sitting here talking to yourself and fantasizing about this girl like that, man? Come on, see, that's why you can't never get nowhere because you're so busy thinking all over the place. Focus, focus, focus. All right, now you know that. Okay. Oh, is that her? Dang, she got here quick. That bands look good, boy. Boy, women don't be playing, boy. These women down here, boy, they, they be college educated. That girls don't be playing, boy. They leaving us fellas behind, man. I don't know what we gonna do. Shoot. The last time I took a girl out, I was like, what you do? Oh, I'm a uh, arthroscopic surgeon. I said, like, oh, yeah. I said, that's all right. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm also a lawyer on the side. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what do you do? Man, I looked her right in the face. And walked out. 
<laughs> I was gonna tell that girl I drive no uh I drive a furniture truck for uh an amount of money I ain't comfortable with saying out loud. Shit. They don't even put me give me a partner, boy. I'm sitting here, I'll be dang doing this stuff by myself, man. Shit. It's crazy, boy. You know, Moving couch, all that by myself. No way, but you know, do what you gotta do. But anyway, here she goes. Here she goes, man. Get ready to sit up straight. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Beard looking good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Teeth like that, huh? Yeah, come on, son. Hey, it up. Okay, how you doing? Man, I'm so glad you came um, to let me up in here. Yeah, I don't know why he never pick up the phone. You know, it's <laughs> you know, I don't even, I don't even trip about it no more. So what did you um? I don't, I don't really even know what I'm supposed to be picking up. I just he told me meet him at the loading dock, and it was down in the basement or whatever. Okay, you don't know we. <laughs> Okay, so we ain't, I, you know, okay, I, 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 if it was up to me, I'd go figure it out, but, um, you know, I'm pretty sure this building got a big basement in it, so, okay, oh, okay, it's the, that old office furniture, why he just didn't say that, that's what the emails say, though, huh, oh, okay, yeah, there ain't no thing, just some uh, rolling chairs and probably a couple of little desks and stuff. I probably break them desks down. They make them pretty easy to break down. And then a uh, the little cube, I, yeah, I break all that down, put it on the cart. And them chairs, you know, I roll them. Yeah, 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 ain't no thing. I said, I wish I'd known I'd have been on. Uh, Okay, yeah, I would have been came and got them. I thought y'all had some big old heavy stuff. That's why I was kind of trying to wait till a day when I had somebody ride with me. But, yeah, I handled that. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when that when we going to do that other job? Okay, man, come on. Ain't you supposed to be trying to ask her out, man? You sitting here talking about the job, man. Talking, trying to ask her out, shit. She go for it. That's why she's sitting here talking all this time. She waiting on you to go in for the move. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, hey, um, before I go, cause I know it's late and you gotta probably go and stuff. And I, I wanna go on and get this, get this stuff before it get too dark. But um, what you doing this weekend? You what? You said Joe. Your grandma, your grandma, your, your grandma, oh, okay, okay, so she, so she's sick, huh? Oh, and you got to take care of her, huh? You say she stay in a, what, 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 what about she stay? Oh, she got some, some, some oceanfront property in, in Atlanta, for real? Oh, okay. Oh, she stayed with by the ocean. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I guess you're going to be busy with that then. Uh, I understand, I understand. You know, I was just wondering because, uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, I just was wondering, you know, no, no no, big deal, no big deal. Don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I was just wondering. You go ahead, take care of your mama, your grandma, and her oceanfront Atlanta property. Yeah, yeah, it's no big thing, no big thing. Yeah, so, you know, if you're free this weekend, uh, uh, you know, I, maybe we can, uh, you know, go out and get, you know, something, uh, something to eat, uh, something, or, uh, uh, yeah, you know, anything, um, uh, I'm down, I, I ain't got nothing to do myself, you know, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll probably be getting off kind of late tonight, so I go home and, you know, I shy, lay down, and um, I'll be, you know, 
I'll be free all all day tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, you know, you free? Oh, yo, oh, uh, oh no, your cat got corona? Oh my goodness, how, how do you know? Oh, okay, he wasn't wearing his mask, huh? Okay, oh, well, hey, if you got to take care of your corona cat, then it is what it is. You know, maybe another time. I just was seeing, you know, was you free or not? No big deal, no big deal. You know, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's all right, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, okay. All right, well, um, you go ahead and head on out of here and get to your cat. And, uh, Go down here and get this office furniture. Okay. All right. No, no. It's okay. Look. Yeah. It's another time. How, you know what? How about how about next weekend? Okay. You're going to check your schedule? All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Just, you know, check it and let me know. <laughs> you know. All right. Okay. See you later. All right. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I just sat here and made laser gun pistol cowboy noises with hand gestures at her. Oh my god, man. I ain't gonna never. Oh, shit. oh, I can't believe I just did that. And why did it take me so long? Just all I had to do was just ask her what was she doing this weekend. And if you're free, I like to, you know, maybe take you out. Oh man, she's lying. She got there. Her cat got corona. Gosh. <laughs> How would you even know? You know, like, what was your cat doing to show it got corona? Sleeping a lot? Cats sleep a lot anyway. You know? <laughs> but, ah, man, she could have came up with a better line than that. But anyway, man, it's my fault because she looked, she seen right through me, man. Gosh, dog. Oh, man. Well, messed that up. On to the next one. All right, so uh, what's going on? What's going on? What we got here? Okay. All right. Let's head on. Man, it's, uh, this place kind of dark, man. Shoot. Okay, okay. Man, where we go with that? Okay, top first floor that way. Okay, now I don't want to get to the elevator. Or do I need to get to the elevator? Okay, oh, okay. Ba okay, elevator's here. All right, then. All right. And, uh, B for basement. All right. Man, it's crazy. Every time I get in the elevator, I think about the movie Devil. Every time. It never fails. <laughs> I think about that dang movie. That's a good movie. I ain't seen that thing since it came out. But I guess it's one of those movies where you already know the ending, so there ain't really no point in watching that mug again. You know, so you already know what's gonna happen. Oh, man. Well, I better work so what, what about sit there? What time I got it? Sell? Don't make no sense sitting there working all these but so you gotta work all these hours when you ain't making no money. Okay, man, this elevator slow, boy. Okay, basement. Bro, it is dark down here, man. Gosh, dog. Bro, they don't leave no lights on? Like, what y'all worried about your light bill? Big freaking skyscraper building. Worried about a dang light bill, man? Sheesh. Oh my phone, man. Did I leave that mug in the truck? Dang, where my phone at? Okay, okay. Oh, I must have so busy spitting that, that dang game, I guess I forgot my dang phone, man. Oh, man, I gotta go back up this slow dang elevator. Button ain't working. Okay, now I know. Uh, 
I know it, it ain't, I ain't the, okay, I ain't the sharpest Negro walking around, man, but I know it should be a elevators has buttons, like, what the heck, why does, is that, is that elevator, where the button at? Okay, not on that side, not on that side, is it up top? What the heck, man, um, where is the button at, is it? What kind of stupid stuff is this? Who would make an elevator with no button on it to call for the elevator? Like, what the heck is you supposed to do? Just catch somebody coming down? Dang, what kind of... Ain't nobody... For, who gonna come... Oh, shoot, I just scared myself. If I got... Dang, man, that would be... Boy, that would make for a good story where, like, the elevator come down and your only way out is somebody else coming down. But then, um... But then, uh, like, it's Friday night, and everybody going home, so that nobody ever come down to let me out. Oh, my goodness. Bro, oh, oh, ho, 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 hold on, man. No, man. Uh, ain't nobody else. Dang, I didn't see. Ain't nobody else here. It matter what I'm thinking about. Ain't secure. And I love. It. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember seeing. Uh, I oh, I duh. Just call her. Hmm. Bro, I left my phone in the truck. Bro, I left my phone in the truck, and I went down the elevator, and the elevator ain't got no button to send me back up. Lord, I'm finna die, Lord G. Oh, I'm finna die. Bro, I'm, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, man, calm down. It gotta be a light somewhere. Okay, gotta be light somewhere. It's, okay, it's, look. I can't believe, like, they got these little damn lights, man. Like, is, is this, look, why ain't none of these other lights on? What the heck, man? Like, y'all don't change the bulb? What's going on? Three lights on in the whole damn basement. <sighs> Man. What the heck was that? Man, what was that? Shh. Well, I wonder, can I pull these elevator doors open? Man, it gotta be. Me tripping. <coughs> What's that? Bro, I know they ain't got no... Man, we downtown, man. Ain't no freaking animals running around down there. Bro, I can't believe this, man. What's that? Okay, um... Find you a weapon. It gotta be for somebody. Bro, get you something. Get you something, man. Cause somebody down here in this basement acting a fool, and I'm already scared myself to death. And I'm finna kill somebody. Ain't no whoever that is. You better kill him, man. Cause ain't no way in the world somebody down here in this basement by themselves or whatever. And nobody coming down here to play this jump way too spooky. I can't mess. It. All right. Okay. All right. Y'all wanna play? You wanna play rough? Like, okay. Okay, I got the what up, man. Come on, find something. Got to be something in here. What is this? Okay, okay. Let me see that. All right, yeah, I can do Oh, man, this is a dang fly swatter, man. I thought this was like some kind of... Some kind of... Little shanky shank, man. Fly swatter. Okay, better than nothing. So, you know, I'm going to wrap this around. Get, yeah, okay. Come on, I, man, I'm puffing to poke somebody on my mama, bro. Run up on me, man, for real, for real, see what happens. Man, calm down. What the heck is wrong with you? You talking about killing somebody at work because you scared? Come on, man. Just calm down. It's just probably the air conditioner and the, 
the heater or something kicking on, man. Duh. Duh. That's all. You know, them vents and stuff be popping and making noise. You know, that's just all that is stupid. Just or maybe somebody's in the building, they're throwing the trash out or something. They're probably coming out of that. That's all you gotta do. Calm down. Let's, let's go find another exit, the entrance, whatever it is. It's gotta be another way. What is it? Oh, it's so dark, man. It's so dark. It's so dark, man. God, it's dark. Ah. Ah, it's just hit my thing. Knee on that. Mm. Ah. Ah. Oh, man, God, that hurt, man. Ah. I bet I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, man, I'm bleeding. Man, I'm sitting here. I'm bust my dang knee to the white knee, man. God, dog. Oh, so I guess uh, uh I guess uh that don't mean <laughs> uh I said why did I agree to do this? I should have just told them that I take care of it Monday Mon Monday morning first day. I could have took uh dang JoJo with me, man. Mm, mm, mm. I hear him do it, man. It's something God dog I'm sitting up here freaking 8, 9 o'clock man it's probably it's probably about 9 o'clock man oh how am I gonna get out of okay uh what okay 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 so. okay then I know that was somebody bro there's no way in the world that uh nah that that was done like with a pattern to it that wasn't just no random noise. That was. See what? Oh no, that part. That's somebody. Don't nothing make no noise on on no beat like that. They gotta be somebody doing that. Man, I'm, I'm, come on, come on, I'm, 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 come on. Whatever you is, you better get ready to either kill me or you gonna die. One of us finna die here in this basement, man. I ain't no punk, man. I'm, I'm, Anything I love, I ain't no punk. Come on with it. That's crazy. I'm sitting there trying to hype myself up to kill whatever that is, man. I know. I'm so scared, Lord. Gee, please, Lord. I ain't gonna. Oh, let me out of here. What is that noise? Is that a person over there? What is that? A, a lady? That's all. Oh, she came back for me. I know that shape anyway. Oh, shit. I'm finna sit here and kill the girl, man. Hey! Hey, I'm glad you came. Um, You know how to get out of here? Yes, you can get out. You can get out when you trade me your soul. And when I get your soul and eat it and destroy it. Time to run. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Bro, bro, get it, get out of here. Oh my, what the? Oh my, what did you see her face, man? What the heck happened? Who's that? That ain't big girl. Who did, who's that thing down there, man? Man, what the? Oh god. Oh, so I ain't never seen nothing like, man, it's like some kind of thing movie, man. What the heck is that, man? Where did she go? Oh, gee, man. Hold still, hold still. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh, I can't see, man. What the hell? I sit right over here in this thing, man. <sighs> Who's this thing? Hey, she coming, she coming. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Be quiet, be quiet. Don't breathe, don't breathe. Be quiet. I know that you're down here. I know it. I feel it. I smell it. I smell it, I taste it, I know where you are and I'm coming, don't make me wait, please don't make me wait, I want your soul, you like
like me, right? You love me, right? You invited me out this weekend. You tried to run that, rap that lame game with me. Come on. I got room for you in the pins. Come on. I got room. Plenty of room. You got room for me in that 19. 97 Honda Accord that you drive. <laughs> Come on out. Oh my god, man, bro. What the? How does she know? Is this, what, did she set me up? Did she get me down here in this basement so she could freaking eat my, my soul? Look, now look, back up, back up. Now look, I don't know what kind of, what kind of ghosts and stuff that got up in you, and I don't know who you think you is, or, or what you, whatever, but you better back up right now, and I ain't playing, so I'm trying to tell you, back up. Now I take this, this fly swat, and I put, I poke more holes in you than a, than a dang, Tell you, I, I put holes all in you. I had you looking like a what's something they got a bunch of holes in? Like I mean, look, stay back. I don't need to look good guy. I, stay back. I ain't gonna say it no more. <laughs> I thought you wanted me. Yeah, I wanted you before. I don't want you now that you then then turned into. This dang demon thing. You was fine at first. I don't know what you got going on all up in your your facial region now. You you looking a little too crazy right now. Your teeth just ain't supposed to be that big. And your mouth ain't supposed to be that wide. And your lips ain't supposed to be that chat. And your nose ain't supposed to be that long and pointy. And your eyes ain't supposed to be that black. And all that extra meat you got on your forehead and stuff. I don't know what you got going on. You had a nice little weave up there at first. Yeah, I don't know what you did. Your head now, the horns in it ain't gonna get it. So, uh, and plus, you don't want my soul anyway, because, uh, you know, I eat a lot of, uh, I eat a lot of sour punch straws and sour patches and stuff. So, my soul is sour. It's, you're not gonna like it. It's, you don't want that. Go and find somebody else. So, Matter of fact, what the heck you eating souls for anyway? Now, if this is because I asked you out, I only asked you out because I thought that you was, you know, you was decent, you was cool, you know, you was a good lady, intelligent, had something going for yourself. And I know I lied about the, well, I didn't really lie, but I was going to lie. I don't know how you knew that, but I was going to lie about the car and tell you that my real car was in the shop and it's just my backup car. I was going to lie tell you that but um, I didn't do it I just thought about doing it you know that ain't no crime now um, the truth what what do you mean tell me the truth stop lying tell me the truth now okay okay uh, if I tell you you gonna let you know? You gonna let me out of here? Is that what you saying? Trade the truth for for freedom? You gonna give me the elevator? You gonna open up your your devil door elevator thing and let me out of here? Tell the truth. Okay, I'll tell the truth. Trick. Anyway, uh, okay. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I tell the truth. Yeah, I, I, I do get my, I was supposed to go to meet my baby mama tomorrow because we supposed to have a little parenting classes and stuff and with the preaching and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow. I'm not trying to go out with you. Okay, is that it? I, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, man, but um, 
you know, before you judge me and eat my soul, won't you think about, you know, where I'm coming from? Not having nothing, man. You know, sitting here making, making. <sighs> Do you know they pay me seven twenty-five an hour? I'm sitting here making seven twenty-five an hour just so I can. I can't even say feed my family. I. I go to McDonald's and buy freaking dollar burgers and stuff and dollar value fries. And I, I've i never even, I can't even remember the last time I ate something off a menu that wasn't on the value menu or whatever. I can't even get my kids a Happy Meal because the little Happy Meal costs more than an adult meal. You know, so yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. I, I, sometime I, I, I try to get away. Yeah, and I... I go out with a lot of women and try to get them to just pay me somebody to pay me some attention. Because, yeah, I ain't got nothing. I know. Okay. There you go the truth. That's what you want to hear. You don't know what it's like, man. So I make seven twenty-five dollars hour, man. You're talking about, you know, hey, I got to beg for overtime. And when I beg for overtime, you know, just so I can forget a couple extra dollars. And you cut that, you won't let me work no OT, you know, you won't let me work no OT. So I'm sitting here begging for it. And um, now when you do finally give me some OT, it's for me to come down here in the basement and get my soul late. But anyway, you know what 725 an hour equal up to? Man, you're talking about that ain't $50 a day, man. $250 a week. And that ain't counting when you take... Oh, I'm sorry, I said a week. I mean every two weeks. Yeah, at least could give it to me every week. Instead of me got me sitting around waiting for two weeks for two hundred and fifty dollars. I mean five hundred dollars for two weeks. You know how much rent is? You know rent going up everywhere. You know they tearing down all the the dang row houses and stuff. You know them row houses getting towed down and getting built in the in the condos. Like what you expect me to do? Barely, you know, we over there in the worst dang neighborhood you can find. And still can't barely afford to live in that mud. Now, she pregnant, so, you know, everybody always say how much a baby costs. I went up in a dollar store and looked at the, how much the dollars is. Bro, you talking about you get 100 diapers, but guess how much it costs? And what's a baby? How many diapers a baby use a day? Eight, nine, ten? So that diaper's going in 10 a. That's another. So that mean I go to if diapers, they pack a diaper, the cheap diapers, twins. So I guess I'm going to have to get my baby the cheap diapers. I ain't going to be able to get my baby to no loves or a pamper or whatever. I'm going to have to get them the, the, the diaper, diaper plus over here. So I'm going to get my baby these raggedy diapers. And you're going to have to change them so often because they, they're terrible. And the diaper's still $20. So basically, one of my work days, I'm going to work <laughs> just to buy diapers and wipes. You don't know what I go through. I want to be it. I want to be there for the baby, man. I want, I want to. I want to. You think I want to leave my child? No. I don't want to be like my daddy. I don't want to be like his daddy. And probably his daddy. But I don't want I want to break that. But that ain't easy, man. What am I supposed to do? Making this little chump change. People look at me and say it's my fault. I could have done better. I still could do better. But Monday through Friday, business hours. I'm at work. I'm at work from nine in the morning till five. I can't go to a, another job and do an application because I'm here with y'all. I came in and you know I'm so scared of losing money. I won't even ask for a day off to go do anything else. I can't afford it. I'll take a day off. <sighs> do you know that in the winter time when the flus and people be getting sick go around, you talking about I've been quarantining because I'm scared to go outside. 
this ain't nothing new. Like, bro, I've been quarantining, man. Because I'm scared to get sick. Because I know if I get sick and got a call off from work, we're going to get put out. I can't afford to miss that little $50. So you got me working Monday through Friday. Okay, I got weekends off. I can go to church. I can, um, you know, do something with the family. Or, no, I can't. I ain't got no money to do nothing with the family. Check gone before the, the dang bank clear it. And then, you know, and I do want to try to look for another job or go do some applications or go ahead and try to get some interviews. I can't do it because I'm here with y'all every day. So, you see, y'all ain't thinking about that, man. So now you want to eat my soul because I wanted to go out on a date. You know what? Yeah, I did, man. And yeah, you know what? I already know that going out with somebody else ain't going to fix my problems. I know abandoning my family ain't going to fix my problems. Then if you know that, why are you trying to abandon them? Sheesh, man. I never... I ain't never really took the time to talk. I ain't never talked to nobody about this. I ain't never... I just kept this junk to myself. But it's simple. Why would you run away? Run away it. it. Don't make it disappear. Running away just make it build up into something worse. Something that would destroy your soul in the end.